Labor Secretary and Peace Panel Chairperson Sylvester Bello III says the New People's Army's termination of the ceasefire agreement was unexpected, saying it's an unpleasant surprise. But Bello says the peace talks scheduled in February will continue. He adds the talks will aim to upgrade the existing unilateral ceasefire to that of a bilateral ceasefire. The NPA on Wednesday announced it's ending the ceasefire due to alleged abuses by the military and the delayed release of political prisoners. The termination of the ceasefire will take effect February 10. Bello says this should prompt both sides to sign a bilateral agreement to set parameters for a ceasefire. Up to 100 are hurt in a factory fire within an export processing zone in Cavite Wednesday night. Cavite Governor Crispin Ramulia says the fire broke at the House Technology Industries building Wednesday at around 6 p.m., just as the workers changed shifts. Local authorities said the fire was under control at around 11.30 p.m. Remulia says as of midnight Thursday, there are around 80 to 100 workers being treated in various hospitals in Rosario Cavite. The HTI facility, where housing materials for export to Japan are manufactured, occupies 6 hectares in the Cavite Export Processing Zone Authority compound. United States Secretary General Antonio Guterres on Wednesday calls on the United States to lift an immigration ban from seven Muslim countries. Guterres says the measure won't be effective in preventing terrorists from entering the U.S. U.S. President Donald Trump's immigration ban triggered worldwide protests. Guterres also urges the U.S. to take in refugees from Syria. Beyonce is expecting twins. The pop superstar who already has a five-year-old daughter, Blue Ivy, with Jay-Z, announces the news on Instagram Wednesday. Beyonce posted a photo of herself kneeling beside a human-sized floral arrangement with her hands cradling her rounded belly. She says, quote, We are incredibly grateful that our family will be growing by two.